and welcome to game two of the 1994 World Series between the Yankees and the Expos. Um, the Yankees won uh, game one uh, with a flurry of <clears throat> flurry of activity uh, toward the end of the game, although it was a close game um, throughout. Um, let me go through the starting lineups here. For the Yankees, it's Luis Bologna at and left, uh, Wade Boggs at third, Don Mattingly uh, playing first base, Paul O'Neill hitting cleanup in right field, uh, Bernie Williams in center field, Mike Stanley the catcher hitting sixth, Mike Gallego the shortstop, and then Brandy Velarde is going to start the game, uh, game two at second base. Uh, Melito Perez will be pitching for the Yankees, and he'll be pitching against this lineup. Marquis Grissom in center, Sean Barry playing third, Larry Walker at first, Moise Salou hitting cleanup in right field, uh, Floyd Walker batting fifth and left, uh, Will Cordero the shortstop, Mike Lansing the second base, Tim Spear uh, is going to be catching in game two, and uh, the Yankees will be facing Ken Hill on the mound, Ken Hill. <clears throat> Again, we're going to be using the uh, on-base cards and dice engine, uh, game engine chart. So we start here on the pitcher's side, and if there's a blank, we move over and get the outcome from the hitter's side. Um, Ken Hill is going to be pitching out of the third column. <clears throat> Relito Perez will be pitching out of the second column. So let's go ahead and get uh, game two started. And here's the first roll to Luis Polonia. So Polonia, that's going to be a strikeout off the pitcher card. And Ken Hill gets Polonia swinging uh, first out of the game. Brings up Wade Boggs. Boggs hit a two-run homer in his uh, game one start. So here's a 12 and a 12 for Boggs. This will be a ground out. So this will be a ground out to the third baseman. <clears throat> third baseman goes... 5-3 on the put out, uh, brings up Don Mattingly with two outs, nobody on. <clears throat> There's a 1-3 and a 1-3 to Mattingly, also going to be a ground out, and also to the third baseman. So two, two ground balls to the corners, and uh, gets the Expos out of the first inning, so no runs, no hits for the Yankees. And we go to the bottom of the first, and it's going to be Marquise Grissom against Melito Perez. Mero Perez is pitching out of column number two. So there's a 1-3 and a 1-3 to Grissom is going to be a ground out. So it's a ground ball right back to the pitcher. Grissom doesn't get much on it, but uh, pitcher snags it, tosses it over first for the first out of the inning, and brings up Sean Barry, third baseman. There's a 1-5, and a 1-5 to Barry is going to be a single. So he hits a sharp grounder uh, through the hole in left, and he gets to first base safely. It's going to be one, one runner on with one out. Uh, Larry Walker steps up to the plate. Walker out to the first game. Here's a 1-4, and a 1-4 off the pitcher card. It's going to be a double. So... The Expos have something going now. Runners in second and third uh, with only one out. And Moise Salou, the cleanup hitter, stands in. There's a 2 4. And a 2 4 is going to be a blank. And a 2 4 to Alu is going to be a double play for a strikeout. So we have uh, no double play situation here. So Perez gets a big strikeout. <clears throat> strikeout swing of. Uh, Moise Salu and brings up Cliff Floyd, two runners in scoring position, uh, two outs now, and Floyd is up to bat. There's a 4 6 and a 4 6 to Floyd is in the second column. It's going to be another, another strikeout. Uh, so back to back strikeouts. Gets Melito Perez out of the inning. Uh, gave up no runs on two hits and two left on. So we go to the top of the second, and the Yankees uh, cleanup hitter, Paul O'Neill, stands in against Ken Hill. And there's a 1-1, one, one, and a 1-1 one, one off the pitcher card, so we strike out. So Hill gets another strikeout. 
This will be his second K of the day. <clears throat> uh, brings up Bernie Williams. Center fielder, young center fielder for the Yankees. Uh, there's a 2-5. And a 2-5 is going to be off the third. So we get a fly out. So Bernie flies out to uh, left center field. And that's going to be the second out of the inning. Mike Stanley, uh, the catcher, stands in against Ken Hill. There's a 2-2, and a 2-2 is going to be a double off the pitcher card. So Stanley wraps one down the line, and uh, he's standing at second base now with two outs. And Mike Gallego, the shortstop. Gallego had a couple of doubles in game one. There's a 3-5, and a 3-5 for Gallego it is going to be a strikeout, so Ken Hill... Uh, gets Gallego strikeout or uh, swing uh, to end the inning, and Yankees do pick up one hit. They get no runs, and they leave one runner in scoring position. So good game so far. But at the bottom of the second inning, uh, Melito Perez is going to be facing Cordero, Lansing, and Tim Spear. That's a two-five and a two-five to Cordero. It's going to be a fly out, and it's a fly ball down the line in right field. Right fielder O'Neill ranges over and makes the play. And Mike Lansing steps in. He's the second baseman, getting his second start of the series. There's a 1 6 and 1 6. Yeah, it's going to be a fly ball. That's a fly ball to straightaway center field. <clears throat> Bernie looks up, and Williams makes the catch. Uh, here's uh, the catcher, Tim Spear, with two outs, no one on. There's a 2-5 and a 2-5 for Spear. Yeah, it's going to be another fly ball, so that's a fly ball straight away left. Uh, the left fielder reaches up, and he puts it away. So the Expos go down 1-2-3 in that inning. Uh, still no score, top of the third inning. And the Yankees are going to send Velarde, uh, the pitcher Perez, and Luis Polonia to the plate. And there's a 2-3. And a 2-3 to Velarde is going to be a ground out. That's going to be a ground out with an error check. So, right, yeah. Ground out with an error check. So ground ball to second base. And we will check to see if there's an error. Uh, no error. It's not a one or a two, so there's no error on the play. So the second baseman feels it cleanly, up with it over first base, and that's the first out of the inning. I'm a Leo Perez. Uh, all pitchers are going to be hitting out of this uh, lowest column over here. So Perez staying. There's a 3 5, and a 3 5 here is going to be a strikeout. And a strikeout swinging. So that's going to be. The second out of the inning. <clears throat> Yankees with only one hit so far. That's a uh, Mike Stanley double. Uh, Luis Bologna, left fielder, stands in against Ken Hill. And Hill gets another strikeout to end the inning. And he gets Luis Bologna swinging for the third out. And we go to the bottom of the third inning. Uh, the pitcher, Ken Hill, is going to be standing, standing in for the Expos. There's a 3-5, and a 3-5 to Hill he is going to be a strikeout, so Perez gets a strikeout looking. <clears throat> and uh, one out in the inning brings Marquise Grissom up to the center fielder. Another 3-5, and a 3-5 to Grissom. Same result. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Melito Perez. And brings up Sean Barry, the third baseman. There's a 1-3. And a 1 3 2. Uh, Barry narrowly, narrowly misses a double there. But a 1 3 off the second column is going to be a ground out, and that's going to be a ground out to the shortstop. So the shortstop is up with it over to first, and that's going to be the third out of the inning. So no runs and no hits for the Expos, and still a scoreless ball game as we go into the top of the fourth inning. Uh, Wade Boggs, the heart of the order, comes up for the Yankees. Boggs, Mattingly, and Paul O'Neill. <clears throat> There's a 1-4, and a 1-4 to Boggs.
looks is going to be a single. So he hits one straight up the middle, solid single through the infield to the outfield, and uh, obviously standing on first base. So one on, uh, nobody out. Boggs not a not a great threat to steal. <clears throat> so we'll see what Matty Lee can do. Matty Lee getting third in this game. Here's a one two and a one two to Matty Lee. Uh, he's in this one. It's going to be a ground out, but a runner advances. So ground out to third base. With just a little dribbler down the line. Third baseman comes in, fires it over to first, and gets the out. But the runner will advance to second base. So a runner in scoring position with one out, and Paul O'Neill comes up to the plate. He struck out in his first at bat. There's a 1-2, and a 1-2 to O'Neill. There's going to be a ground out also with the runner in advance. So <clears throat> a little ground ball to second base, and that's going to move the runner over to third. So now a runner 90 feet away. Um, no score in the ball game, and Bernie Williams stands in. Another one, two, another one, two is going to be another ground out. And that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. And Ken Hill gets a few ground balls here in the, uh, the top of the fourth, and that's going to put away <clears throat> the Yankees. Uh, no runs on one hit and one left on. Uh, Larry Walker, the first baseman, uh, he'll stand in, get the heart of the order coming up for the Expos, Walker, Alou, and Cliff Floyd. So there's a 2-6 and a 2-6. This will be a blank. What is Walker? Walker's a 3. So a 2-6 for someone out of the third column is going to be a single. So Larry Walker <clears throat> has his second hit of the day. Single and a double so far. Uh, Moise Salu, the cleanup hitter, stands in against Melito Perez. There's a 1 4 and a 1 4 off Perez's card. It's going to be a double. So that's going to put runners at second and third with nobody out. So Perez in a bit of a situation here with the uh, young left fielder Cliff Floyd standing in. There's a 4 4. And a 4 4 is going to be a, a straight up walk. So Base is loaded now. <clears throat> Base is loaded, full of expos, and nobody out in the inning. Will Cordero, the shortstop, stands in. He flat out to right field in his first at bat. There's a 1 4. The 1 4 off the pitcher card is going to be a double. So that's going to be a 2 RBI double. Runners going to advance to third base. And round and round they go. So second and third again. Uh, nobody out and two runs already in in the, in the inning. Uh, brings up Mike Lansing. There's a 1-4. Another 1-4 is another double off the pitcher card. So two more RBIs are going to come in, or two more runs are going to come in. That makes it 4 to nothing. <clears throat> and uh, facing the bottom of the order, we're going to see if Perez can go a little bit farther, where's he at now? He's at 16 batters. He can, uh, he's able to face 29. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna have to call it soon. He can't stop the bleeding. So there's a one six. Uh, one six is a blank. And one six here is gonna be a fly out with a runner advance. So fly ball to right field. Deep right field, deep right center. And uh, the runner is going to have a chance to tag up there. And he's going to advance to third base. So it'll be a runner at third now with one out. Uh, four to nothing now. Expos is they've uh, brought home four in this inning. Ken Hill, the pitcher, will be batting. That's going to be a 1 6 and a 1 6 to Hill. It's going to be a fly out with uh, a runner in advance. So with one out, that's going to be a sacrifice fly. And that's to deep right field, all the way back to the track. And there's going to be no chance uh, to get the runner coming in from third. So the runner's going to score, and that makes it 5 nothing Montreal in the bottom of the fourth inning. Uh, Marquis Grissom stands 
again. That's a five, six, five, six is gonna be a strikeout off the pitcher card. And that gets Melito Perez out of the inning, but not before he gives up five runs to the Expos as they put a big crooked number on the board in the bottom of the fourth inning. Brings us to the top of the fifth and um, might get a chance to, to pinch hit for Perez here. There's Mike Stanley. And the catcher facing off against Ken Hill. That's going to be a strikeout by Hill. And he gets Mike Stanley swinging for the first out of the inning. Mike Aiego, the shortstop, stands in. 6-6, six, 6-6 six, six, six could be trouble. And a 6-6 six, six off of the number one card is going to be a home run. So Mike Gallego continues his tour of pace. Uh, <coughs> two doubles in the first game and a home run, solo home run here in game number two. And that draws the Yankees one run closer. They're down 5-1 to one now. Randy Velarde, the second baseman, stands in. 2-4, uh, 2-4 four, two, four is going to be a double play or a strikeout. So Ken Hill, the no one on base, gets another another strikeout. That's his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th, 6th, 7th K so far uh, in the first four and two-thirds innings. Um, Melito Perez, we are going to get a pinch hitter for Perez. A new Yankee pitcher is going to be Scott Kamenicki, and he comes in uh, for Melito Perez. So he's going to start the sixth, the uh, bottom of the fifth. <clears throat> and he'll be facing the heart of the Expos lineup. So here is our roll. <clears throat> it's going to be a 1 6, and a 1 6 is a blank. He's Kamenicki's coming out of this first column. He had a, a 4 9 5 FIP in 1994. So there's a 1 6 and a 1 6 to Sean Barry. There's a 2. That's going to be a fly out. So fly ball to right field. And that's going to be the first out of the inning. Expo send up Larry Walker to the plate. Walker's 2 for 2 with a double and a single. <coughs> there's a 4 6. 4 6 off the pitcher card. It's going to be a single. So Walker. Continue his hot bat. Gets uh, his third hit of the day. Um, Moise Salou had a, a double and a run scored. And his last hit up. There's a 1 3. That 1 3 is going to be a blank. And 1 3 will be a ground out. So that's going to be a ground out to the first baseman. And <clears throat> with one out, the first baseman's going to. Uh, be able to get it to second base, but they can't turn two, so it's going to be a fielder's choice. And we'll go three, six, 
on the fielder's choice. <clears throat> so still going to be a runner at first base. Now with two outs, and Clint Floyd stands in. There's a 2-6. Two 2-6 six. Two six to Floyd is going to be a ground out. <clears throat> He's hitting out of the second column. So that's going to be a ground out for Clint Floyd, and that's going to end the inning. So a little number in front of the plate. Catcher pounces on it, tosses to first, and the Yankees get out of that inning, not having given up any runs. And uh, they're still down 5-1, to one going into the top of the sixth. <clears throat> Let's see where Ken Hill is. Hill is at 18 batters. He can go 29, so he's sort of cruising along here. Uh, he'll face the top of the order, Polonia Boggs and Mattingly. There's a 1-2. And a 1-2 <clears throat> is going to be a ground out. So it's going to be a ground out to the second baseman. Lansing picks it up. I believe it's Lansing. Picks it up, fires to first. And that's going to be the first out of the inning. Wade Boggs, the third baseman, stands in. Here's a 3-5. And a 3-5 to Boggs is going to be a strikeout. So that's a strikeout looking. Beautiful place curveball. Can't do much about it. <clears throat> and Mattingly stands in. Mattingly is over two. He's got two ground outs to third base. Here's a 6-6. Six, six. And a 6-6 six, six to Mattingly is going to be a single. So he gets his first knock of the day. And Mattingly standing at first with two outs. Uh, brings up Paul O'Neill. And there's a 2-4. Two 2-4 four. Two four is going to be a strikeout. Uh, with no double play situation because there's two outs. So that's going to be a strikeout swinging. Ken Hill cruises through another inning. Um, and the Expos lead 5-1 to one going into the bottom of the sixth. Yankees are going to stick with <clears throat> Yankees are going to stick with Kamenicki maybe for one more inning. See if he can get them a little deeper into the game. There's a 1-5 and a 1-5 is a blink. Uh, a 1-5 for Cordero. That's going to be a ground out. So it's a ground ball to the shortstop. And shortstop gets it over first for the first out of the inning. Mike Lansing now the second baseman. He stands in. That's a 3-4. And a 3-4 for Lansing is going to be a double. So he hits it a one hopper off the wall. And he's going to be standing at second base with only one out. Runner in scoring position, Tim Spear. Catcher stands up at the plate. So there's a 2-5. And a 2-5 for Spear. And he's going to be a fly ball. That's a fly out to left field. So a runner at second base is definitely going to hold. And the pitcher stands in with two outs and a runner in scoring position. <clears throat> Ken Hills pitched a beautiful ball game so far. In there. There's a 1 6. And a 1 6 is going to be a double. So look at the pitcher. Pitcher helping himself with an RBI double in the bottom of the sixth inning. And Marquise Grissom stands in. There's a 1 5. And a 1 5 for Grissom. Who is in this one? That's a single. So that's going to be a run scoring single. And the Expos are tacking it on now. With two outs, the runner gets an extra base, so he scores from second. And uh, trying to get Kamenicki through in this inning. Here's Sean Berry. That's a 1 3. And a 1 3 to Berry is going to be ground out. And that ground out is going to go to the second baseman. So let's see, what was it doing? So this will be a ground out. Ground out 
went to the second basement. So the out goes 4 3. And that's. That's it. We go to the top of the seventh inning, <clears throat> and this is going to be Bernie Williams, Mike Stanley, and Mike Gallego, the two Mikes, uh, coming up in the uh, seventh inning, still facing Ken Hill. Uh, Ken Hill is at 22 batters, and he can face uh, 29 before he faces any ramifications or needs to be taken out. <clears throat> So here is Williams standing in against King Hill. That's going to be a 3-5 and a 3-5 for Williams. It's going to be a strikeout. So that'll be a strikeout looking for Bernie Williams. Williams 0 for 3 on the day. <clears throat> he had a good first game. A couple of hits in the game number two. He's come up empty so far. Uh, Mike Stanley, the catcher. He stands in against Ken Hill. There's a 3-4. And a 3 4 for Stanley. It's going to be a home run, so he gets hold of that one. Another solo home run for the Yankees, who can't seem to get their runs in bunches in this game. But it does cut the lead to 7 to 2, and we're in the top of the seventh inning. It's game two of the 1994 World Series. <clears throat> and Mike Gallego, who hovered in his last at bat, stands in. There's a 3 3. <clears throat> And a 3 3 for Gallego. That's going to be a ground out. And that's a ground ball right back to the pitcher. So that's going to be out number two in the inning. Pitcher tosses it over first. And with two outs, Randy Velarde, the second baseman, stands in against Ken Hill. There's a 4 5. And a 4 5. And it's going to be a fly ball. And that's going to be caught by the right fielder, and that's going to end the inning, so Lou reaches up, squeezes it, and the Yankees do get one in the top of the seventh, so they cut the lead to seven to two, <clears throat> and we're going to have a new, um, going to have a new Yankee pitcher, so let's bring in uh, the next pitcher. And we're going to go with Bob Whitman. Whitman coming in making his second appearance of the series. Uh, he'll be facing Walker, Alou, and Floyd in the bottom of the seventh. Here's a 3-5. Whitman is pitching out of this uh, column over here at 3-2-9. Uh, FIP back in 1994. So 3-5 um, for a number three hitter. And the third column hitter is going to be a strikeout. So Whitman gets the Larry Walker looking and brings up Moise Salu, the right fielder. There's a 4 5 and a 4 5 for Alu. It is going to be a home run. So he hits a solo shot and that stretches the lead back up to six. <clears throat> Alu, a good day so far. Uh, two for four with a couple of runs scored and an RPI. Uh, Cliff Floyd stands in now against Bob Whitman. There's one four. And a 1 4 to Floyd. That's going to be a single. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. It's not a single. It's uh, a walker hit by pitch. So it's not a 1. So it's going to be a walk. So Whitman gives up the, the walk to Cliff Floyd. And Jeff, I mean, sorry, Will Cordero stands in. He's a shortstop for Montreal. There's a 3 6. And a 3 6 to Cordero. That's going to be a fly ball with an error check, so I'll fly out to left field. No error on the play. Polonia reaches up and puts the squeeze on it. <clears throat> Runner stays at first and brings up Mike Lansing. Lansing comes to bat with uh, one on and two out. Playing second base here in this game, too. There's a 46. And a 46 is going to be a double play or a strikeout with two outs. That's going to be a strikeout, so Whitman gives up the solo home run in the inning, stretches the lead back out to 8-2. To 
in favor of the Expos, and now the Yankees will come to bat in the top of the eighth. Uh, it's going to be starting with the bottom of the order, <clears throat> so we need to get a pinch hitter in here. Pinch hitting for the Yankees is going to be Jim Leyritz, and he's going to be facing uh, Ken Hill. <clears throat> so, uh, Hill has faced 26 batters, so it's possible in this inning he's going to reach his stamina, and we'll see if we can bring him out for the ninth or not. <clears throat> so here's the roll to Leyritz. 2-4 is going to be a double play or a strikeout. It's and that's going to be a strikeout of Jim Leritz. Uh, strikeout swing. Luis Polonia. Polonia is 0 for 3 on the day with a couple of strikeouts. 1 3. And 1 3 is going to be a ground out. And this will be a ground ball to third base. <clears throat> third baseman. Snatches and tosses it over to first. And gets the runner by a couple steps. Uh, Wade Boggs with two outs stands in against Ken Hill. There's a 1 3, 1 3, same fate for Boggs. A ground out, and it's going to be a ground ball. <clears throat> he pulls it down the line, but the first baseman is there. Walker makes the play, and he'll go three unassisted to the bag, and that's going to get uh, the Expos out of that inning. Uh, no runs, no hits. For the Yankees in the top of the eighth, and we need a new pitcher for New York. The new pitcher for New York is going to be Don Paul, <clears throat> and he's going to be standing in against the bottom of the order. So Tim Spear of the Expos is leading off in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Expos are up eight to two. There's a three four and a three four to Spear. It is going to be a double, so he wraps one down the line. And he's going to be cruising into second base, standing up. So a leadoff double. And uh, we're going to give Ken Hill the opportunity to uh, throw the complete game here. So let's do, uh, let's just go ahead and bunt with Ken Hill. We can see our, <clears throat> excuse me, we can see our bunting, our sacrifice bunt here. So we roll the D9. And if the value is greater than three, then the bunt is successful. So, but if it's uh, a one, two, or three, then it will not be a successful bunt. So let's see. Uh, it will try to lay down. He does. That's a good one. So that's going to be uh, a sacrifice hit. Advances the runner to third base. And we'll just say uh, the assist for the pitcher. Put out to first base. <clears throat> so a successful bunt, moves the runner over to third with one out in the inning, and that's going to be Marquise Grissom coming up to bat. There's a 1-2, and a 1-2 to Grissom. This will be a ground out with the runner advancing. Sorry, it's this one. And this will be a ground out to shortstop. So with that out, the run does come home from third and score. and. The lead is now 9 to 2. Uh, Expos over the Yankees. Sean Berry, third baseman, stands in. There's a 4 5. <clears throat> Nothing there. And a 4 5 to Berry, who is a 2. It's going to be a fly ball. And that's a fly out to uh, down the line and left. So hustling over is the left fielder, uh, Polonia, and he makes the play. For the third out of the inning, but the Expos do get one more. Uh, put up a lot of numbers here at the end of the ball game. And um, Ken Hill is still pitching. Where's he at? Ken Hill is at 29 batters right now. Um, he can face 29 before he has to go down a level. And so the way I usually play it is if he uh, if he's at or below his stamina when he starts the inning, then all through that inning, no matter how many batters he faces, uh, he can still go off his original stamina outcomes. But as soon as he, he goes over that stamina and he comes out for the next inning, then uh, in this one we're dropping him down a column. 
on the uh, cards, the carded seasons, uh, there's actually a, a, a rating, an outcome for when the player doesn't, uh, when he's gone over his stamina. <clears throat> All right, Donnie Mattingly, Paul O'Neill, Bernie Williams. The last hope for the Yankees here in Game 2 of the 94 World Series. There's a 2-4, and a 2-4 is going to be a double play or a strikeout. So Don Mattingly strikes out swinging uh, to begin the ninth inning. Uh, brings up Paul O'Neill, the right fielder. He is full to 3 on the There's a 1-4 and a 1-4 for O'Neill. That's going to be a single. So he gets a solid hit through the hole and right. One runner on and one out. Bernie Williams steps up to the plate. There's a 2 6 and a 2 6 for Williams. Let's see, he's in the third column. That's going to be another single, so back to back singles for the Yankees. And uh, puts runners at first and second base. And Mike Stanley, the catcher. He's staying in against Ken Hill. There's a 1 2. And a 1 2 is going to be a ground out, but the runners will advance. Let's so ground out to shortstop. Just squeaks it past the pitcher. The shortstop comes in hard, uh, grabs it, and tosses to first. That's the only play. And everybody moves up a base. And Mike Gallego. <clears throat> Last hope here for the Yankees is Gallego, the shortstop. And here's the pitch to Gallegos, a 1-5, and a 1-5 to Gallegos, it's going to be a single. So he comes through with a 2 RBI single in the, in the top of the ninth inning. Uh, brings the uh, Yankees closer, now 9-4, to four. and Randy Velarde steps up. There's a 3-4, 3-4 to Velarde, that's going to be a double. So that's also going to bring in... Uh, one run. And Yankees need to bring in a pinch hitter here. So let's get that hitter. Well, pinch hitting for the Yankees is going to be Pat Kelly, the uh, starting second baseman in game number one. And Kelly is going to be facing Ken Hill. Hill's given up three so far here in the ninth inning. Uh, still sticking with him. That's going to be a 1 2, and a 1 2 is a ground out with the runners advancing. So with two outs, uh, that's going to end the ball game. It's ground out to third. <clears throat> third baseman snags it. Hard throw to first, and that's going to end the game. So Ken Hill with a complete game in game number two. Uh, the Expos drop the Yankees 9 to 5. Um, Nine hits or nine runs, twelve hits, no errors for the Expos. Five, nine, and zero for the Yankees. Pull up our box score here. <clears throat> so a good game here from Stanley Gallego. Uh, Gallego, uh, three RBIs. So that's a big day for him. And uh, all through the lineup here, you can see just production all over the place. Larry Walker, three for four. Uh, no, bar, no RBIs, but he did have a run scored. Uh, Alou came through uh, with an RBI. Two RBIs, even for the pitcher, Ken Hill, with a big double. Uh, you can see Hill, nine innings, nine hits, five earned, 12 Ks, and no, no walks. So a good, uh, excellent start for Ken Hill. <clears throat> um, Perez, four innings. Five strikeouts, one walk, five earned, and six hits. So not a great start for Melito Perez in the bullpen. Wasn't able to provide a whole lot of relief. But uh, that is game number two. So the series is now tied, and they'll be heading back to Yankee Stadium. Uh, all tied up in this 1994 World Series. Again, we're using the game engine chart from OnBase, and you can download this for free. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, you can use this chart to play any games. Uh, it's based off of, we're using FIP, F-I-P, uh, and then weighted runs against. I'm actually using something called batting runs, uh, which you can find on fangraphs.com. Each player page at the very bottom 
has batting. It's called batting, but it stands for batting runs. Or you can just look up the weighted runs above average as well. All right, so game two is in the books. Game three <clears throat> uh, will be happening uh, soon. And this is the 94 World Series. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about on base or this game itself, I'd love to hear them. Just leave them down in the comments section below. And uh, if not, then uh, stay tuned for game number three. I'll post it and uh, we'll see how the series turns out. All right. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.